everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Um, hope you like my new look here. I'm just trying to uh, you know, maybe trim it up just a little bit. But anyways, um, recently I have a family member who came back from Italy. And while they were in Italy, they found a, um, a designer that makes mosaic tiles. They're like 7 and 3 quarter by 7 and 3 quarter or 20 millimeters each. And it goes uh, 4 by three and it makes up quite a large picture and because they're ceramic tiles they're quite heavy I'm trying to come up with an idea that will allow me to actually mount this to maybe a picture frame or frame it out somehow uh, with little edges or something but he wants them to butt up against each other as best they can be so I'm going to experiment with it of course I don't have a perfect pattern I'm just coming up with an idea um, my first thought was to possibly Velcro um, and attach it with Velcro, but with these nubs on there, it, it, that may be hard. But let's come up with an idea. I figured you'd be interested in what I did to make a frame. All right, so here are all the tiles laid out. This is a uh, picture of Sorrento, Italy. And what I'm trying to do is decide the best way to mount that. I think I'm going to make a traditional uh, frame and... I'll take some measurements and make a backer board. I happen to have some MDF, little quarter inch MDF rolling around the, the shop, so I think I'm gonna use that. So what I'm doing is I've just kind of laid out everything here and made sure that I was gonna cut the backer board the size I needed with an extra quarter inch around all edges. Uh, what I did is, is I ripped down some two by and put a quarter inch dado in there to accept well a rabbit for the uh, for the uh, extra on the each side so it will be able to be a much more stable and sturdy um, and now I'm just going to cut out uh, the lengths that I need for the uh, styles and the rails and uh, I think I'm going to do a butt joint and make it look a little more rustic. So we'll get out the uh, pocket hole jig and You'll see a little shim in there that I put to fill the gap from the rabbit that I cut out. But now I'm just going to assemble it and make sure I use a good amount of glue and pack holes. It should be plenty sturdy for it. And let's drop in the backer board. Looks like everything's all laid out good. And now comes the sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding and, well, you get it. Alright, just prepping it up, getting ready for... Uh, layer of stain. Alright, well, let's apply some glue. We'll get the backer board on there and once that's attached we'll hit it with some brads and away we Go. So I figured it would be better to put the fasteners on now before I put the tiles in. Uh, what I'm going to use here is I'm going to measure down about six inches, about halfway through. What you see here is like a little quarter inch thick filler and what I did is I just put it at the bottom to keep it from hitting the wall, you know, scratching it up with the hardware and it also gives a little more protection so let's hit it with some brands. Alright, perfect opportunity. Let's go ahead and lay everything out, see what it looks like and then I can do the glue up. To make it sort of non-permanent, what I decided to do was use hot glue. Hot glue would attach well to the MDF as well as bind well to the ceramic and I guess it could be removed if it really needed to be. Okay, and there we have it. Uh, a nice framed tile mosaic. 
And uh, it is quite heavy because it is ceramic tiles. Dad's going to like it. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me showing you how I make things. One of the, one of the things I like to say is I hope this inspires you to come up with some ideas for yourself. So again, uh, I don't really want to give detailed tips on um, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it because I was figuring out as I went along. But thanks again for watching it and uh, you have a great day. This is Krista Metric from TDW Woodworks and get that woodworking. Mm -hmm.